engine tap. What we're looking at here is an air and cell 15 plate system and it's in a test situation on the bench where we're trying to determine the output of it. We've had a number of requests people wanting to see that to show you what the rig looks like. Unfortunately I'm having trouble with a lot of the seals on here. But I think you'll get the idea. The top seal isn't on there too too well either. There's the cell itself. I've got it configured as one cell instead of a twin at this moment. What we're going to do is put a Pyrex pitcher in here. And you can see the markings on it. This one's metric. And here's ounces. I'll try to use the ounce for you. I'm going to turn that upside down in the water there and we're going to measure the amount of gas that fills in to the Pyrex, which is a way a lot of people are doing it. This is the voltage that we're set up on right now. I've got a my old standby amp meter here. It's pretty old, but it's going to be registering around 35, 39 amps. I'm running this hot. I'll tell you, I'll announce the amps as it's going. It may go down to 25. What I've just done is I had it running real hot a few moments ago, so I've poured some more distilled water in there. Hopefully we can do this clean test. Also remember the tube that we're coming off the hydrogen cell with is very wide. The diameter is considerably wide. Not like a lot of the other demos that you've seen where the tube's about a quarter of an inch. This is a little bit wider than that. And that should about do it. Normally I have a watch in here, but I've really been rushing this, so I don't at this point. You'll have to time it. Well, maybe I can do that. I'll turn this off for a minute. Okay, we're back again, and there's the watch. And what I'm going to do is turn on the power now to the cell, which is re reading at 11.64. Actually, the amperage is reading at 21 amps. And we'll see what this can do here. We're at 23 amps. and holding at 23 amps. I'm going to let you do the calculations. The fact of the matter is I really don't care. All this can change. It all depends on how you do things. And that should just about do it. And let me swing over here. There's your voltage. And there's your amperage. Which is, as I said, about 22, 23. 
And as you can see, it's still perking away there. There's the cell, which is completely emerged in gas. I'm going to let the gas out of here. And we'll set it up again here so you can see some more. Okay. It's doing a pretty good job. Well, I'm missing some of the gas, aren't I? Probably filling the room up with it pretty well, too, by the way. Let's see if I can trap the bubbles here. Okay. Let me try it again. Right now we're running at 23 amps. And the voltage has gone down. It really isn't that battery up. Well, that's about the best I can do at the moment. I've got plenty of work to do. But you can see it seems to be perking right along. I'll leave it up to you. Let me turn the fan on here. Find it. seven minutes into this. Let's we might as well finish it. So let me what I'm gonna do is merge this again. Just in case there, there's a good shot. Hopefully you can see the watch as well. That's in cups. running at 10 volts at 22 amps. This is the Aaron cell. It's got 15 plates, or 3 by 6. Unfortunately, it's a lot of uh, gas escaping from the tube because I really put it together kind of quickly here. I think that should do it. I'm going to turn this off so I can breathe a little bit. <laughs> wow. Okay, and here's the setup that we have. See, it's still putting out a little bit. You can go to hydrogentap.com or write me at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com. You can see the Aaron cell, the both configurations. And both the configurations are twins. In other words, you can split the cell while it is active. If you want to go to hydrogentap.com, you can see uh, the very good images of it. Also, if you want to pick up one of those CDs on the new other cell, the Widowmaker, I do have specs on it. I will have measurements on that CD. I'm going to have it's got a video that shows me making the measurements, and I think everything on there you would appreciate.